All right, so we have this um, polygon here um, that we've lofted these polygons, and now we want to move, you know, make it not, it's just straight, a straight loft on this same Z axis. So we're going to move these guys and sort of shift it, and then we're going to project it onto a plane. So to move it is a, are pretty simple. I'm just going to go to the move, or actually, let's just copy, um, I'll just copy this. Right, and then we'll move that up. Oh, that's a mess. Let's see. Let's just copy these guys. How about... Right, and move those up here. And then we don't really want to move it in the Z. We want to move it... Let's just move it in the Y. Right, so I'll move it in the Y. Right, and the geometry that I want to move um, is not this original one. You can see it moving it down there, but this scaled one. So I'm going to pick the second polygon, and you can see it's moving at 9, which is a bit much, right? So maybe I'll come in and, you know, pull it in somewhere like 2, maybe, just offset that. And then I'll do the same thing for the scaled one for number 3 down here. So I'll take this geometry and move it. And we'll move it, you know, maybe six or eight, right? So you can see it moving the guys off to the edge. And so now I'll just take these geometries and replace them in the loft. So if I take this geometry and go to two, right, you can see it pushing it over and then going back, right, to the original one. And then if I take this one, and put it in three, you can see it shifting the whole thing over, right? So you can, again, you can kind of come in and play with, you know, how much you're shifting it and all that kind of stuff. But um, the last thing, once you get it kind of in place that we want to do is I'm going to turn the, that surface we were using in Rhino back on and, and let's, uh, let's make sure it's over the top of our guy right there. Um, so, I'm just going to use the surface from Rhino, um, and I'm going to project the final polygon up onto that surface, and it's actually called Pull. So in Rhino, it's Project, so I'm going to um, double left click here, and I'm going to type in Pull Curve. There's a Pull Curve. There's also a point and edges and all that kind of stuff, but I'm going to take the Pull Curve. It needs the surface and the curve to do this. So the curve we have, right, the curve is this curve we want to pull up onto that surface, right? But we need the surface. So the surface we can do what's called sort of containering it. Um, and I'm just going to double click and type in surface. And these little um, five-sided guys or six-sided guys will container something from Rhino and let us use it in Grasshopper. So I'm going to pick this surface. And it's going to give me this little node and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to set one surface and it's going to let me go to Rhino and left click on that surface and you'll see it turn green instead of orange. Orange means it's not being used or there's a warning. If it's red it's broken but um, now I'll just turn off the Rhino so now you can see it's kind of containered it and turned it into a grasshopper object and I can plug that surface into the pull and then I can plug that, this geometry, into the curve at the top, right? And you'll see it's now pushed that curve up there. And then what I just need to do is come in and push this, uh, this curve into the third one, right, and replace the other one. And now that guy is going straight up, right? Um, and so I could come in and you know, hide everything with that sort of final curve that's going up and adjusting to that guy. Um, and then, of course, at this point, you could um, bake this, right, and I'll bake it to layer five, right, and you'll see, and then if I turn the preview off on that, you'll see that is now in a, in a rhino void. So I think this is a good place to start if you want to go through and sort of build these guys that kind of get used to that process.